All right, so now this is the last video on determinants that we're gonna talk about. Well, just finding determinants, I guess. I have a few problems I want to do um, that isn't explicitly just find the determinant of a given matrix, but we'll get to those later. So this is the last method where it's just explicitly, oh, here's the matrix, I need to find the determinant. So this is finding the determinant then of determinant of block matrices and so first of all guys probably wondering what the hell is a block matrix well, well we'll talk about this so what's a block matrix so let's call this matrix M and uh, it, it, it has the following so up top is a which is a 2 by 2 matrix by itself okay and then I got B which is also a 2 by 2 matrix and I got C which is a 2 by 2 matrix and I got D which is also a 2 by 2 matrix and what do you realize? You realize that M then itself is a four by four matrix, right? Because A is a two by two, C is a two by two, then you have four rows, and then A is a two by two, B is a two by two, then you have four columns, so you end up with a four by four matrix. And so we usually do something like this to indicate that you got block matrices. Uh, we don't usually write the dimensions, but in this case, we have a four by four block matrix. So, you know, with any, like, n by n matrix that's even you can like block it up like this you can block it up into four blocks you can block like you can take a six by six you can take like uh, let's say k is a six by six matrix uh, you can block it up like this you can have like you can have three blocks right you can have a b c d e f g h i where then you know each entry is a two by two, right? Each block is a two by two matrix because, yeah, well, that's that's what, that's if we wanted uh, this matrix to be split into nine blocks rather than four blocks. But in our case, in our case, we're just gonna talk about four by four matrices. We're gonna split them up into two blocks uh, or into four blocks, each block being two by two, okay? And so what, what do we wanna say? So let's say M, is equal to uh, 1, negative 3, 2, 4, 0, 5, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, negative 2, 1, and 0, 1, negative 6, 3. Okay? And so, all right, what, what, what do we notice? Let me fix this negative 2 entry here a little bit. Well, let's block this up like I did above. And so we block it up in our two by two blocks. So now it's clear, we have two by two blocks. And what is the shortcut then? How do we find the determinant of this matrix? Well, of course, expanding, cofactor expansion like we did in the last video, it's perfectly fine. Row reducing, perfectly fine. Again, just when we get to chapter seven, stuff kind of get, shit kind of gets wild. Like you might, it, it, row reducing isn't the best way to do this like after this chapter, but for the purpose of like midterm one, right? Where it's just like find the determinant, go for it. But when we have to find like eigenvalues in chapter seven, don't row reduce, that just takes a long time. Anyways, so uh, let's get back to this. So the, the, the big deal is this, if, if CD is equal to DC, okay? Right, so if C, if this lower left block times the lower right block is equal to D is equal to the lower right block times the lower left left left, left block. Blech. Blech. This is hard words are hard to say. Um, if C D is equal to D C, okay, why is this a big deal? Well, remember matrix multiplication isn't necessarily commutative, so if this happens, then it actually is a big deal. Um, if C D is equal to D C, then the determinant of M is simply the, the determinant of A D minus B C. And so that actually makes this a lot easier to do, like no expansions whatsoever. All we have to do is to check if, in our case, here's C, here's D. If C times D is equal to D times C, we can use this formula right here. And so almost immediately, right, we see that C is the identity matrix, is a two by two identity matrix. And what's the property of an identity matrix? Well, the identity matrix commutes with everything, right? So. Uh, so CD is going to equal DC. All right, cool. So now we just use the determinant of M then is equal to the determinant 
of okay a d well a is this top left matrix so negative one three zero five times d which is going to be this bottom right end matrix okay minus d uh, minus b c right yeah a d minus b c which is then two four zero two times one zero zero one okay so it's just the determinant of this first matrix multiplication and then you have matrix addition whatever okay uh subtraction cool so what do i get i get a determinant so let's multiply then these two matrices first right i want to multiply these two matrices first and i get what do i get i get 16 negative 8 negative 30 15 Okay, so that's multiplying the two matrices on the left, and then you subtract, and then on the right-hand side, I'm multiplying by something by the identity matrix, so I just get whatever I multiply it back, right? So I get 2, 4, 0, 2 back, okay? So now I need to do the subtraction. This is equal to the determinant of 16 minus 2 is 14, negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12, uh, negative 30 minus 0 is negative 30, 15 minus 2 is 13, all right, so this is the determinant of this guy. Well, that's just 14 times 13 minus negative 12 times negative 30, which is 182 minus 360. So the determinant of M then should be negative 178. So the determinant of M, this guy, is negative 178. And this was actually f very painless. Like once you realize that CD is equal to DC, right? C is the identity matrix. We're done. Um, it, 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 it's it's pretty quick. It's just an algebra at that point. So a lot better than cofactor expansion. Look for this in block matrices. It, it can show up. It, this applies to anything, right? As long as CD is equal to DC. If you have four blocks, okay, you have four blocks, and CD is equal to DC. Woof. Just go ahead and use this. Um, so if you have let's say an eight by eight matrix, and each block is a four by four, so you have four four by four blocks. If CD is equal to DC, you can just calculate then the determinant using this method right here, okay? And very special case, this condition must be satisfied. Otherwise, don't use this. It's going to be wrong. Um, and, yeah, so another case I'm not going to talk about, I might talk about it during recitation, is if it's block triangular, then you also get some nice things to deal with determinants. But in this case... Let's not worry about that. So this is it then for just outright finding matrix, uh, matrix determinants. And so in the next video, I'll talk about, let's see, what am I going to talk about next video? Yeah, we're going to go through some problems that you might see on like exams that deal with determinants. So, all right.